What's up, listeners? What's up, YouTubers? What's up, PlayStation Nation? This is the Wild West. And um, the title of this video, basically, graphics. And um, it's basically uh, me giving my opinion about a video what Hard 8 was talking about earlier in the week. When he, you know saying, he was talking about how, you know, he played, you know saying, from generation to generation in gaming. And then it's the PS2 generation, which, man, you know, that was a pretty good generation. But he started from Nintendo on up. And just like him, I started from the Atari 2600 on up. And we both feel that graphics is the main, this is the main aspect of the game. It's the most important thing about it. Because if you started from a, a, an early, later generation, you know what I'm saying, like we did, then you, you the first thing you want to know is how the game looks. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I've always wanted to see how much realer can these games look. How close to life, how photorealistic whatever you want to call it, can these games get? And, you know, in this generation now, I think, I don't think we're going to get to where they are like photorealistic. Like, I mean, you know, where you can tell, where you can't tell if it's a game or real actors or not. We're not there yet in this generation. And we should be because last generation, the graphics were great. But this generation now, they, they're, they're better, but... Some games is taking a hit. Um, and I asked the question, which is on the side, as you can see. Maybe it's me, but did Assassin's Creed Syndicate take a hit in graphics? Because I played the last Assassin's Creed. I actually played the first two Assassin's Creed this generation. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, and Assassin's Creed Unity. And with both games, you know, the graphics actually had a boost from 4 to Unity. Unity looked outstanding. It was great. It was phenomenal. You know, from the hair, the, the facial features, the skin textures, the texture on the, the characters, the, everything just looks great. You know, from the, the map, the map, the city, the town, the people, all of it looked great. But when you play Assassin's Creed Syndicate, it looked it look like it took a hit. You know, I mean, from the facial features, I mean, the game looks great. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look like a crap of, a, a, you know, saying a bucket of shit. And it plays great, and you know Ubisoft they they take it they took away the multiplayer and everything. So you you will figure since they took away the multiplayer, maybe they can put more resources into the graphics department. But they didn't. They actually spent a little bit less on the graphics. You know, um, maybe it's me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But from, you know what I'm saying, this is, you know what I'm saying, I just got this game today. I just picked it up. Also, you know, I got Fall Fallout 4 and the Strategy Guy coming. You guys seen that, you know what I'm saying, post earlier this morning. But, you know, as far as the graphics goes, and that's another thing with Fallout 4. The graphics on that, you know what I'm saying, from the screenshots and the little videos I've seen, it looks pretty good. And I'm pretty sure it looks better than the, the last gen version. Which you got to get him credit because it, as long as your game looks better than your last generation game, then you've taken that step to going, you know, saying to the next level. But Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I think it took a step back. I will put this on the graphics part as far as like Black Flag. That's all I got to say. I'm out.